Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and we are going to be looking at my second uh, favorite player on the Devil Rays, Travis Darno. Of course, as you guys know, my favorite player is Charlie Morton on the Devil Rays and uh, we are actually going to look at a potential walk-off here with Travis Darno against the Yankees. He is the walk-off king with the Yankees. If you saw uh, the at-bat uh, last uh, earlier this year on July 15th with the three home runs and we actually... I was only running three innings on the video game, so this is the sixth inning, and it would have been a walk-off. Actually, this would have only advanced him to third, and Travis Darno would have got a double out of it, but we're going to see how close it was right here on the replay. Just having a little bit of fun with the video game. There's no deep meaning to this video at all. But uh, Travis Darno, my man, that's how close he was. That close. <laughs> basically like three quarters of a ball distance so just like three inches you know away from from a walking or, walk, or advancing him to third with no outs and we're going to see what happens here in the uh, rest of the inning charlie morton pitched brilliantly the yankees lost again yeah the yankees are actually tanking just at the right time to give us home field advantage in the playoffs so uh you know um Wade Miley does pitch tonight. That's another uh, animal that we're talking about. Uh, I'm trying to remember. He's going. Oh, he's going up against uh, Jaime Berea, who also is a terrible pitcher. But Wade Miley's just been tanking lately. Wade Miley has always been like that. He has a good side and he has a bad side. He is a solid pitcher and he has potential. Uh, he's just not going to be an ace. But he's not forgotten. But he does have cold days, and we're just gonna have to live with that dynamic. Okay, up next, G-Man Choi. Unfortunately, uh, Travis Darno after that ended up hitting into that double play that you guys just saw, and I would have replaced G-Man Choi to get a faster runner if there weren't two outs, and I'd been batting terribly this game, as you can see. So I didn't really think I could advance the runner to home. Otherwise, I would have substituted him with a fast runner. As you can see, has 29 speed. Okay, I fight off a four-seam fastball right there. Yeah, the Yankees are just, uh, you know, kind of just losing games at the wrong time, and the Astros are winning. We still have four games left. Okay, there we go, one right into the gap. That would have advanced a fast runner to home in the gap, but with G-Man Choi, you can see he's just reaching third right there if you look at the graphic on the top right. There's no team in the league they can't stand besides the red sox they can't stand the yankees more than the tampa bay rays and that's because they are bludgeoned with having to live in that inside the al, AL east division every year and so they watch the the rays i'm sorry the yankees and red sox always winning and so the rays are a huge underdog that's why i like the rays uh i started watching them a while back and i really like them with uh Try to remember who went to Cleveland. Uh, oh, Jake Bowers, the rookie last year. Anyway, that's my video. Hopefully you guys liked it. This did it, unfortunately end up in a pop fly right here. And it ended up with a Brett Gardner home run, which is not on video. So the Yankees won the game. But in real life, the Yankees didn't win. Thank you guys. And if you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.